what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, and welcome back to yet another episode of rebuilding man media's e46 m3 um, so last episode we did the mass airflow sensor uh, which is a fair fairly you know easy install um, you know nothing too fancy it should take the average person you know two minutes to do it uh, two minutes to clear the code two minutes to drive it around and uh, figure out if that fixed the problem in our case uh, it did fix the problem so no more check engine light on the vehicle that's uh, awesome news so um, <clears throat> we are gonna move to the second uh, thing that we're gonna do when we you know whatever got in the vehicle uh, basically took you know ripped off the water bottle the windshield the windshield washer uh, reservoir um, the two motors um, that were nowhere to be found uh, basically this car is equipped with uh, headlight washers so there's two motors that, that, that go there um, it ripped off a couple of hoses and stuff like that so we are going to um, redo the whole system um, like I said I want this car to be pristine for its next owner so we are gonna do the whole system so I just got uh, today um, I got uh, my package my first package of there's four packages coming my way from ECS tuning um, basically we're gonna replace everything that is wrong with the vehicle um, so in we got for this build this is what we're gonna this is what we uh, bought we have um, two motors which is um, see where's my my second one so yeah this is the, the just so just so you know let me flip this around real quick just so you know this is the only one that survived the other one you know flew off this one actually broke hey this is the new one this is the old one this one actually broke I'm guessing it hit the floor uh, the little nozzle that feeds the water to the to the uh, wiper uh, heaters because this car is also equipped with uh, water heaters for the windshield wipers um, got uh, you know got messed up um, and then the other one I have it somewhere around here let me look for it I had set up everything that I was going to show you guys and of course nothing works out the way it's supposed to so here we go for this complete install uh, we spend you know I want to like I've always said I want quality parts so here's my receipt from ECS tuning on this one um, so we spend $15 for this one, which is this one is the windshield wash, uh, the windshield washer uh, pump. Okay. We spend $24 for this one, which this one is actually the one that feeds the headlight washers. If you notice, the nozzle is a little bit bigger. Okay. Then. I do want to do um, the job correctly so I did get brand new um, filters these filters they go inside the bottle the reservoir sorry and actually that is what holds the pressure though it keeps the uh, pumps there and it keeps them sealed so it's always good to have them brand new and any debris that gets in there uh, calcium from the water um, if you're using you know windshield washer uh, fluid they leave a residue on the on the back so you know that's uh, also something to to do I did oh sorry so the filters were 572 for the smaller one for the one for the uh, windshield wipers and 1568 
for the one for the headlight uh, washers. So, you know, kind of pricey, but at the end of the day, you do want to have do a good job and, and keep them. Um, you know, keep the quality. It's, a, it's you know, it's a it's a piece of history. E forty sixes, they are you know collectors. Um, so, you want to do whatever you do right. I did buy a new connector. This was two sixty eight. This is the connector, um, basically that connects the feet line to the windshield washer fluid. And then I did buy the hose, which is the hose, which is right here. This actually was twenty-four twenty-eight for that hose. That's basically the hose that feeds both of the uh, headlight washer uh, nozzles. Uh, on my next shipment, we are going to get brand new headlight washer nozzles. So we, you know, we're going to be installing those. I got to remove the headlights and all that for that. But I do want to install this because I want to make sure there's no other issues with the system. Like I said, the wiring ripped off, and I had to. Um, redo the connectors so I just want to make sure I don't have any issues with that so having said that let's uh, installation is fairly easy okay fortunately the with the water level sensor it's still uh, here okay the bottle never leaked um, it never leaked uh, whenever I, it got scraped and, and all that it never leaked I did do a whole plastic seal around the seam just because you know I want it to be secure uh, the car you know this car is 15 years old it's 15 years old so this bottle is 15 years old the heat in Texas this thing is you know it's gonna be uh, a pain in the ass you know so very simple first things first let's put the uh, strainers just put them there and push them okay now headlight washer of course goes in the bigger uh, portion very simple um, sorry yeah. about that when you're not working in your garage or whatsoever you know people come and interrupt you um, you know they want to know what you're doing and all that so so basically let's proceed with the installation I did buy new hardware for it simply because if you notice I don't know let me see if I could pull here whenever the whenever the um whatever hit me hit the, the vehicle um, the, the the wash the, the reservoir um, actually dragged so it stripped a little bit of holes on the bumper support this is carbon fiber I wasn't about to, you know, replace it because of that. Um, it's perfectly fine, never been hit or whatsoever. It just stripped a little bit, so I bought brand new hardware, a little bit bigger hardware. I guess this is a pretty common, uh, something, you know, that happens pretty common. Why uh, the guys at ECS Tuning were telling me two things happen with this car, and both of them happened to this vehicle in this accident. Um, one is there's a temperature sensor in the pa in the driver's side tire that gets blown off uh, with debris. Something hits it or whatsoever. It happened to me. I have it in my uh, kit to do it next. Uh, people tend to relocate it, and I and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and the other thing is. The way this was uh, set up in, in, in the vehicle, it's held with two screws on the bumper support and one screw, sorry, it has water when I was testing it, um, one screw on the, um, on the fender, fender well uh, liner. Okay, there's a, there's a tab there, of course, 
how many cars that get driven hard or basically go in the streets of Texas something hits it it's gonna start pushing and pulling on the um, on, on the reservoir so they tend to get uh, slightly damaged ECS has bigger ones so all you have to do is put or replace them and you should be good to go so I bought uh, you know two of them to put them uh, you know to use them now remember I did the brand new uh, filters the strainer sorry big one very simple big one it's the headlight washer you should if you have a headlight washer uh, cleaning on your vehicle you should have this one put it there press hard it's gonna lock itself okay very simple second one is gonna be the windshield washer one okay second one is gonna be the windshield washer one this one if you notice it has grooves it has grooves in the uh, in the pump itself so all you have to do is put it there right get it inserted in the hole um, pushing it is gonna go into the grooves and it's gonna be held there by the grooves in the bottle basically this one's not gonna go nowhere this one it's not gonna go nowhere either okay luckily like I said the sensor for the um, water level it's intact it works I checked it um, so we're ready to install this okay so pretty easy insulation the hose goes there's a little gap where the hose goes to it's a little bit um, hard but once you find it it goes completely up there you go found the glue for it and now so very simple insulation now I did buy like I said I did buy a new one of this I should have put this before uh, but very simple your hose put it in there they are um, Loctite type so they're not gonna go nowhere once they are in place and on the other side the same thing the pump has a little you notice the pump has a little um, groove for it once you put it in there press on it and you're gonna notice you're gonna hear it once it goes past you see clips perfect right there this one has a clip for it once you put it in its location and if you want to do it I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it so let me move this sorry I'm a I am not a one-man show but in this build I am being because I got to travel to um, my parents house and of course I don't want nobody uh, here but if you look at it it goes in there perfectly and after that there's a little clip right here this is just to keep it locked in place Okay, after that again like I showed you before goes in you pull on it and it, it's held there by uh, by the strainer last thing to do is so there's two plugs 
very simple it's this one okay very simple two plugs one is for the windshield wipers the other one for the windshield wiper pump the other one the bigger one you're gonna notice is gonna have a lip right there it's for the headlight washers so very simple running through the back and then this other one is for the for the headlight washer itself this is the fog light all this got um, like I said it got stripped off whenever uh, whatever caught the, uh, my car caught um, it got stripped off and I had to redo the whole harness so very simple took that one off just so uh, you see it so there's one and to the back there is the other one make sure the lip is made it I heard them clip back again put them in and just uh, reset the whole now the correct positioning for the um, correct positioning for the water reservoir the water reservoir basically holds it has the opening for the air scoop for the for the brake cooler for the brake ducts for, for, sorry gonna put the screws manually there and then get them tight with the um and of course I don't want to tie them up completely right now because what I'm gonna do is um, just test everything make sure everything is up to up to par whenever um whenever the vehicle the bumper is getting uh, ready to be put on there um I'm gonna put the fender liner attach this correctly make sure everything is parallel make sure the hose reaches um, the filler and we have we should have everything working correctly so I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is now put some water on it and test everything but like I said I had tested uh, the harness at least I know there's uh, electricity going through it and all that I had so this should be working perfectly okay so um, so far what we've done is we did the mass airflow sensor uh, mass airflow sensor um, we did the water reservoir we refurbished the water the water reservoir we did um, by the way do everything you can to preserve yours um, cheapest water reservoir that I found because I did want it to do a new one but this one was just ugly it wasn't it wasn't uh, damaged or anything it was just ugly um, <laughs> I wanted to do a new one and everything cheapest one I found is like a hundred it was like a hundred and eighty dollars um, ECS has one for like sixty or eighty sixty nine eighty nine dollars somewhere around there but it doesn't fit the model with the carbon fiber um, bumper support and the um, air ducts so there's a big uh, issue there the, the models that got the carbon fiber um, supports there's no you cannot do like a um, bumper conversion on it you have to reduce all the uh, re uh, put all the hardware from the previous uh, generation <clears throat> so stuff like that so the one that I've the only one that I found and I wanted a new one I wasn't gonna buy, why buy a pre-owned one if I already had one um, the 
the one that I found it was like $180. I wasn't gonna pay that, so I just made sure I resealed mine, made sure it was, I guess, nice and pretty. Um, or the, in my case, I'm thinking more like functional. That's all I wanted for it, uh, for it not to, to, cause it got scraped up, uh, but I didn't want it to, to in the near future for it to start leaking and all that. So we did that, uh, put everything together. So once again, mass airflow sensor, we did uh, water reservoir, the two pumps. Um, we are gonna do <clears throat> the headlight. Uh, we're gonna replace all of the hoses whenever we do the telescoping uh, headlight washers. So we're gonna do that. Um, and that's about it. So guys, like I said, uh, this is like the second episode of us working on the vehicle. The vehicle, every time it gets, it's gonna get closer and closer and closer. I don't know if you noticed, we have a red fender on this side. Um, it wasn't part of the accident. It was, uh, when, I, when I first was restoring this car for me, uh, the one that came in the original Phoenix, uh, Phoenix yellow one, had a, too many nicks. I knew I had to was gonna have to do too much bondo work and all that to to make it to the quality that I wanted. So I found one about an hour away from here. So I drove uh, and I got this one. It's a lot better condition and all that. I just put it there so when the vehicle was in my household, my HOA wouldn't uh, say anything. I put it there. It's gonna get taken off uh, to be painted properly. <clears throat> and you know like I said whoever ends up with this car is gonna get a badass vehicle so if you like what you see guys give me a like subscribe to my channel man media TV like our Instagram most likely whatever I do is gonna get announced through Instagram okay so subscribe to Instagram I wanna you know one of you lucky guys are gonna be able to um, you know get this vehicle the way i'm planning on doing it is going to be fairly inexpensive so let's um let's keep watching please subscribe man media tv youtube man media tv instagram thank you guys see you on the next episode